raising minimum wage to 1055 would allow students to get more from their college education with less debt after they graduate, which would help our economy. As a student, I am faced with the reality of college expenses, tuition, room, board, and books. I mean, today what I'm doing here is trying to fight for the minimum wage to be raised to what its original purpose was. The indexing is there with the purpose of raising it to the same value. It's not making it higher. If the bang for your buck goes down, you're going to have, I mean, less value that your dollars can get you. You can buy less things with the dollars that you have. To be able to spend money in our local you know, economy, and even to be able to spend money at all, you have to have money. And Unfortunately, as a student that doesn't have a lot of time to work, I mean, pretty much it comes down to I have to work more to accomplish the same output. According to the University of Minnesota, in 1968, a student working 6.2 hours per week during the school year at minimum wage would earn enough to pay the annual tuition of $385 per year. In effect, in 1968, a full-time student working part-time, even at the minimum wage, could pay their way through the University of Minnesota. If, you, if, if the bang for your buck goes down, you're going to have, I mean, less value that your dollars can get you. You can buy less things with the dollars that you have. As a person that cares about the dignity of a human being, I'd say that it really matters how you pay that person because, I mean, living wages will change with inflation. If we index that, it will stay with what we consider to be a living wage.